Let's turn our attention now to the COVID-19 pandemic, starting with a look at the latest hospitalization numbers. As of yesterday, 517 Western New Yorkers who are still in the hospital with the virus. That is an increase of two people from just the day before. And here's where the seven day average for positive test results stands now in each of our eight counties. Chautauqua County still has the highest infection rate, which is about double the rate of Erie County right now, the lowest in the area. It has been a wild but more profitable turn of events for restaurant owners over the past couple of days. And that includes a court decision that struck down state restrictions on indoor dining and an overall shift back to the less restrictive yellow zone for the rest of the state. Here's Channel 2's Ron Plants with that story. For restaurant owners, some of whom have really struggled, this had to be the day of salvation. It was great to hear. We were sitting around in pens and needles. And so at Neat Restaurant and other eateries, they're savoring the court ruling and its Albany impact, which cleared the way for a return to 50% indoor dining under that yellow zone. The governor's legal counsel stating there would be, quote, uniformity and fairness to do so, even as they reviewed and disagreed with the judge's decision from the Erie County Restaurant's lawsuit. So today, all hands on deck with staffing callbacks and other preps to get back into business for dining in. Between last night and tonight, or today that we have about 60 staff that we just brought back to work. And now looking ahead. Despite the pandemic and all the restrictions that come with it, one restaurant owner here in Western New York has decided to make a major investment here in downtown Buffalo. And as he likes to put it, he's moving forward. That again would be Casey Mullet, who is bringing the Vice Bar to life at 500 Pearl Street, complete with its well, neat decor, ranging from those cool murals to Buffalo style architecture wallpaper, to an indoor bocce court. They had started planning before the pandemic struck, but kept going. Uh, we were supposed to be open uh, about three three months ago. So we're, we were set back a little bit. We were shut down uh, during the construction phase. Uh, but the, the biggest thing is that we had to keep moving forward. And reflecting the COVID situation. Booths we actually extended uh, about a, a foot and a half higher just to get more privacy, just to get more. So every booth is kind of more secluded just so when we do get open, that it, it is a little bit more safe because that is it's more on our mind now than ever is how do we keep our customers safe. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.